can't believe man. Now, I pick her up. From, now, <laughs> I'm on Instagram. <laughs> See, man, y'all got to stop with these filters Instagram, man. Y'all got to stop. Because she don't look nothing like what the Instagram what the Instagram pictures and videos look like. I get him. No, 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 you can't tell me what to do. Okay, record me. You in my car. Record, record. You in my car. Yeah, I'm going to record you. Yeah, I'm going to record you. Your cat, your catfishing. Mm -hmm. That's what they call it. It's a word for it. No, I'm not. Yes, you is catfishing. No, I'm not. Look like your pictures. Uh, I look like my pictures. No, you don't. I just didn't want makeup. No, no, no. (laughs) You look like your pictures. Whatever. You do not look nothing like your pictures, and you catfished me. And what I'm doing... I'm gonna show the I'm gonna show the whole world who you really is. Please do. Yeah, who I'm you a really good is. Lady. You a I'm good a, lady. I'm gonna fight you with it, whatever way you want to no, do with it. No, and you didn't tell me you were from no other country or nothing. Look how you talking. Look how you talking. What do you expect? What you mean? What, what I said? When you saw my name, you didn't know I was Nigerian. No. You didn't know where I came from. No. Oh no. But I. Oh well, yes, I, you did. No, I didn't. Oh. I guarantee you, I ain't know you. I you. I know you don't look like that. You are. You saw my picture. No, you do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You need to take them down, stop catfishing me and help me and waste their time. You. I didn't catfish you at all. You this know what happened. Calling somebody out like that is demonic behavior. To me, she not ugly. I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. To me, she not ugly. But I got a thing for dark skinned women, so you know. Um, and my boy, don't sleep. I heard some things about them Nigerian women. I heard Haitian poom poom is. Phenomenal. I heard Nigerian poom poom is phenomenal. And from what I know about Nigerian women, bro, they cook that nice gel off rice. Don't knock it till you try it, my boy. I know I don't post my horror stories too often, but I be going to so much parties and getting tossed and flipped. And so I get tested a lot. Um, and I wanted to get on prep. I got tested back in like the end of November before I went to Exotica, but I went to a place that doesn't go through lab corp so it didn't get forwarded to my like primary care physician and he was like okay well we're just going to test you again and make sure you're not pregnant before we put you on the hiv preventative so that's what i did i know i don't pass my horse hold on there's an hiv preventative don't judge me i'm ignorant to that i did not know there was an hiv preventative like what? What is it? So what? You you take it and you can go raw dog somebody and you good. Is that is that what it like? When did this? When did they start doing this? Let's be real. Mm-hmm. If you dated a. And he don't got a bitch that's bad as you or better than you catching his eye at least a little bit and shooting a shot. You're dating a lame. You're dating a loser. You're dating someone that no one gives a fuck about. So you better have your fun with the faithful at playing. He's going to be faithful. You're all he's fucking got. That was so deep, King. The sheets will never be able to understand. The sheets? Because why exactly who the sheets? would I want to date a lame who treats me right? When I could just date a lame playing dress up. Oh, she flaming his ass. She flaming him. Am I right? Bruh. Since so being faithful means you a lame? Damn. Yo, what's up, bruh? I, you know, I got my little audience and I be talking my talk and I come here, you feel me, make my videos or whatever, but... I don't think everybody needs a podcast, bro. Because certain things people be saying don't make no sense. If your boyfriend don't have women better than you catching his eyes, then he's a lame. That's crazy. But at the same time, I will say this, fellas. You have to make sure that you upkeep yourself to where you look desirable to the world. Okay? Okay. You look desirable to your girl, but you look desirable to the world. That'll keep your woman in check. Because she know at any point in time, if she mess up, somebody out there wants you. 
That's all he had to say. You. That's all he had to say. Literally, fellas, keep yourself up, so that way you look desirable to the world. Yes, it's cool for you to look. Yes, it's cool. For yes, you should definitely be. So I got my ass beat this weekend by the sidewalk. I had one too many glasses of wine and chopped the tequila for my roommate's birthday. And allegedly, my other roommate and I, Irish Goodbye, and started running down the streets of New York. And I tripped, took her down with me. She had the awareness to catch herself, and I didn't. It genuinely hurts so bad to even eat, and I busted my lip in the inside. It's so gross. And the worst part is I was so blacked out. I woke up so confused. I just thought I had, like, a lot of boogers under my nose. So I'm, like, peeling it, and I'm confused why it's red. My bed was all bloody. I thought I got my period because I also scraped up, like, all my legs and stuff. And then I looked in the mirror and at first I only thought I got a bloody nose and I was like, that's weird. I never get bloody noses. And then I start inspecting my face and then that's when everything started hurting. So if anyone knows what I can do to make this heal faster, I put hydrogen peroxide on it, but apparently you're not supposed to do that. And you're supposed to put, I don't know, Neosporin or Vaseline. I have no idea. Neosporin. Should I have band-aids on this? Yeah, put Neosporin on it. Also, while I'm walking around... I forget that this is on my face. I ain't gonna lie, bro. She she making that goddamn Chipotle look good as hell. She making that Chipotle look good as hell. It's something else I want to say, but I can't. At first, I'm not gonna. I'll say it. Fuck it. She looked like my one of my supervisors. So when I when she popped up on the screen, I'm like, but yeah, she making that burrito look good. I think I'm about to go get a burrito from Chortley. Bro, I can't make this. <laughs> you want me to do what? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going viral. No. Somebody help me. Bro, I can't. Yo, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Yo, I... Talk about... She said... She said, I want you to put your sperm... Yo, hold on. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Hey, man. Ling Ling know what she like? First of all, come here. You look nice. You got your toes out for that? I do. They can't see it, though. You look fly. Come back. Come back. You look... You look hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. You know... This is how I look when I go to work. Use that like a little house mouse. But I do get a check, you know, every now and then. All right, all right. I get See, paid right, from time right, to time. Right, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. See? Don't know. Don't know why. Yo, I was just watching that video with the girl in Chipotle. It's always the girl in Chipotle, huh? First of all, you got something on your lip. Tuck it off. No, 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 no. It's just special. It ain't there no more. Oh. Okay. It, ain't, it ain't there no more. You sure? Yeah, it ain't there no more. You're not even a fart. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> Rag of stick. Suck it off. Bruh.